just have a, a thought that I want to share with you uh, without having, which is actually about feedback, interesting. Um, now, and it's to do with this. Obviously, all those talks which were very moving and very insightful were to a group of people who already want to hear about compassion. And as I saw, saw and listening to Olga's talk about her work for the second time, the bit, and, and also uh, Paul Gilbert's very interesting uh, comment about bad trumping the good, that I thought then the question becomes, why doesn't everybody do it? If, if compassion makes us all feel so good, and it's just like the wind and the air and all of those, you know, a natural resource, why aren't we all, why doesn't everyone do it? And I think the question I'd just like to leave you with, I think is very interesting, is that in, in my business, in the media, it is perfectly true that bad news sells newspapers. And I've thought about this for a long time, and the answer, in my view, is that it's about a drug. But the drug is adrenaline. And fear is something you can, that generates adrenaline, and you can get it second and third or fourth hand just by somebody telling you a horrible story. And if you're kind of hooked on fear and adrenaline, then Olga's neurology, and the neurology we heard about yesterday from a woman who did, uh, promotes the random act of kindness, that a smile is the neurological equivalent of 2,000 chocolate bars, then you think, okay, we've got something very positive to sell. And I wish you all very great luck in selling it. Thank you.